Question 8. The cumulative frequency graph shows information about the height of some hollyhock plants. Okay, and this is a cumulative frequency graph. Heights are on the x-axis and cumulative frequency, the build-up of frequency, is on the y-axis. Okay, so part A says find an estimate for the median height. Well, um, you're going to need your ruler and if you just have a look here how many plants are there in total okay so here is the total number of plants and if you just be really really careful you have to think about the scale so this is going up in 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 72, 74 76, 78 and 80. So they're going up in twos, definitely. So 82, 84, 86, 88. So there are 88 plants in, to uh, in total. Okay. So in that case, to estimate the median height, now um, the median is where you put them all in order and it's going to be the plant that's in the middle. Okay. So. So. As there's 88 plants, we need to divide this by 2 um, to find the middle value. Okay, so 88 divided by 2 is 44. So that we want to find the height of the 44th plant. Okay, now as it's going up in twos, it's here. Now, technically, when you're trying to find the median. Uh, the middle value you need to add one then divide it by two but as we're estimating and using the cumulative frequency graph uh, it's not really going to make much difference okay so get your ruler at 44 the 44th plant we're going to estimate up to our cumulative frequency curve and down and I'm going to say that is 83 okay so I think that the 44th plant is 83 centimeters okay now this is worth one mark and I'll have a look at the mark scheme to see what it says so anything from 82 to 83 would have got you the first mark okay so part B says work out an estimate for the interquartile range Okay, so the interquartile range, we're going to need the lower quartile and the upper quartile. And then we're going to do the interquartile range where you do upper quartile, take away lower quartile. Okay, so the lower quartile is the first quarter of these plants. So 88 divided by 4, so the 22 plants in the first quarter so get your ruler again so 22 plants in the first quarter you do the same thing so the first 22 plants is up to the height of 70 uh, let me get this right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 78 okay so I think the lower quartile is 78 now the upper quartile is the first three quarters. So if there's 88 plants, the first quarter is 22. So 66 is going to be my upper quartile. 2, 4, 6. So the plants up to, sorry, the first 66 plants are up to the height of 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 87. So my upper quartile is 87. Okay, so the interquartile range, interquartile range is 87. Take away 78. Okay. Which is 9. So I think the interquartile range is 9. Now, Part B is a two mark question. Let's have a quick look at the mark scheme. So the first mark is for a method mark and seeing these two lines at 
66 and at 22 is sufficient for the first mark okay so I'm just going to put that down here the second mark is for an answer of anything in the range of 8 and 10 so you could put 8 9 or 10 so I've got the second mark there okay now last bit then Part C, find an estimate for the number of hollyhook plants taller than 90 centimetres. Okay, so you're going to need uh, your ruler for part C. Um, and you have to find plants that are taller than 90 centimetres. So, if you go back up to graph this time, you need to go up at 90, up to the cumulative line and across okay now plants that are up to 90 centimeters tall there are 78 of those plants okay so 78 plants are up to 90 centimeters tall now remember there's 88 plants in total so the question was how many plants are there that are taller than 90 centimeters so we need to do 88, take away the 78 plants. So 88, take away 78. And that leaves us with 10 plants that are taller than 90 centimeters. Okay, now part C is also worth two marks. So if we just have a quick look at the mark scheme. So the first one's method mark for seeing 88 take away 78 will get you the first mark and the second mark for the answer okay now you could have put 10 or 11 okay and that's it